what we're going to be doing is uh, we'll start from the scratch. We will pick one set of technologies, which is the Spring Cloud. There are 100 different ways you can build microservices, by the way, and just in Java. We're going to be doing Spring Cloud. I think Spring Cloud is one of the most robust ways of building microservices today, so we're going to be doing that. And we will use only what's required. When we create a microservice as dependencies, we will use the bare minimum that's required. I don't want to have like this huge palm.xml with a gazillion different things. It's very easy to go overboard with this thing. So we're going to do the bare minimum and then build on top of it. Whenever we need something, it's only then we can add it to the farm. Okay? Uh, prerequisites, Java and Spring Boot. I think I mentioned that in the meetup. So if you don't know this, I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully, you'll still be able to follow along, but it's, it's kind of like a requirement. When you build microservices, each microservice is going to be a Spring Boot application. All right? So we're going to build microservices, but just three of them. All right? The example that I've picked for this workshop is, um, how many of you guys are familiar with Goodreads? Goodreads. It's basically a website which lets you catalog the books that you've read, and it allows you to rate it. Right? It doesn't provide the books. It's just a catalog. So we're going to be doing that for movies. right? So the idea is anybody who wants to list the movies that they've watched and put a star rating on top of, they can they can use our application, and um, it, 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 it's basically it's going to form an API which feeds like a. And let me actually switch over here. Um, okay, before we go there, this is going to be the uh, the uh, very high level, very rudimentary architecture diagram of our microservices. It's not going to end this way. I promise you, it's going to get much better. But at the bare minimum, we're going to have two microservices, which is going to provide some data, this microservice provides some data, this microservice provides some data. And then you have the third microservice, which calls those two, gets the data, consolidates this, and sends back a response. All right? This, you might laugh at this, but this is actually a lot of what microservices are all about. You, are, you have this kind of orchestration, and then uh, you, you consolidate the results and send it as a, as a response. So yeah, uh, the movie catalog API application. So this is kind of like the UI that I've, I'm thinking about, right? So imagine there is uh, a, Java a JavaScript developer who wants an API from you, right? They say, OK, I'm building an UI where you say uh, some website slash user ID, and it's going to pull up all the movies that this person has watched and rated, and then it's going to show the movie name, description, and the rating, right? Do you need help uh, cloning? Oh, OK, you got it. Okay. Make sure you import it in an ID so that the Maven build runs, because that's going to take a while. So assume that this is the front end team. Uh, this is what they're trying to do. And then we need to, um, you need to create an API for it. right? So there's going to be an API called api.com slash user ID. And you're going to get back a response with, it's going to be an array. It's going to be a list with each element being uh, the movie name, movie description, and what that user has rated. Okay? We're not going to do post and put and all that stuff. We're going to assume a read-only API. People are going to hit that URL, and they're going to get it. Right? And we're going to hard code a lot of stuff. We are not going to do a database connection and all that stuff, because it's, that's how you build a Spring Boot application. If we end up doing that, we're going to lose track of the microservice side of things. So we're going to hard code each microservice itself, and then we're going to have them talk to each other, which is kind of like the crux of, the, of this. Workshop. All right. I regret this animation. I'm going to get sick of this by the time this is done. All right. So this is the API that we're going to build. Uh, it's going to return an object with an ID and the name. I'm probably going to skip this. We'll see if time permits we can add that. And then it's going to have a list of movies, an array of movies. Each object is going to contain the uh, ID, name, description and the user's rating right i you put your name there you're going to get your list of movies 